Mr. Cortez, you have a uh, movie that you want to talk about that actually I've also yes, seen. Yes, I do. Go right ahead. Yes. Yes, this is Netflix released this. This is called They Clone Tyrone. Yeah. Let me let me repeat the title again. They Clone Tyrone. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to run down the actors. There's some prominent actors in this particular um, mm-hmm. two hour, two hour and two minute film. Yep. We had John um, Boyad. Boyega. 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 Thank you. You had Jamie Foxx. You had Tiana Paris. Mm-hmm. You had David Alan Greer was in yep, this. Yep, yep. He, Kiefer Ooh, Sutherland. Kiefer was Sutherland in was in it too. Speaking of him again. Yes. Yeah. Also Jessica Fontaine. Mm-hmm. Um, also Jay Afonso Nicholson and several other cast members in this. Also, mm-hmm. Jamie Fox is one of the producers on this. Yep. And also the director was Jules Tyler, who is a very new up and coming director and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, this is a sci-fi. We're going to put this in the sci-fi category, folks. Okay. The reason why. In the beginning of it, I want to tell you plot, plot line. It's in the urban area of any urban town within within the United States where it's predominantly black. Mm-hmm. And what they did, the whole premise of it was they were actually cloning people within these small towns. Mm-hmm. And that's how the sci-fi kicks in. So you had these characters and they're living their regular life out, but Underneath the town is a gigantic laboratory where they clone people within different positions within this particular in these particular towns. Mm-hmm. Now, they had one in Compton, they had one in this small town. So the whole premise of it was that it, it really deals with a lot of conspiracy theories, mm-hmm. dealing with the black community and everything. And that's what the whole thing was about, folks. You gotta check it out. It gets real deep because you're looking at it. And the lead character, um, John Boyega, he is being cloned, but he doesn't realize it mm-hmm. until as time goes on. He's like, damn, I'm a clone of a clone of a clone of a clone. Yep. And that was the whole premise of it, folks. To begin, it, it ran a little rough. It was a little bit dry in the beginning. I didn't Agreed. know what was going on. Agreed. But as time went on, it picked up. It picked up. Mm-hmm. That's when they started adding the sci-fi in there. And they had special little units that would come out and clean up certain areas or whatever. Okay. It was it was overall, it was a good movie. Um, one thing, we talked about this. Erica Badu redid her song. Yeah. Um, Call, Call Tyrone. Tyrone, yeah, she she, she redid changed. it for the for the movie, which was I thought was pretty cool. Yeah, it's called her version is they clone Tyrone. Mm-hmm. Yep, because that was the whole premise of the movie. If you really like some conspiracy sci-fi type fiction, this is a movie for you to check out, folks. It is two hours and two minutes, but it's so deep because it really has you cranking up these um, conspiracy ideas like what are they doing is this might be happening in my community or whatever yeah and and interject and i don't mean to interject uh jump in here but for example in 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 the movie and i won't divulge too much they talked about certain types of foods or products that uh certain uh, individuals within an african king excuse me within an african-american community could use whether it be uh eating Fried chicken, chicken. Yeah. using yeah. hair products, mm. whatever. But what they're saying is that that runs deeper, as you've mentioned uh, just uh, just now. Yeah, it's definitely a social. It's definitely a social consciousness type mm-hmm. of type movie going yeah. on because it makes you think back and think. You know, a lot of these products are coming into the black community. Why are these same products not sold in the white community mm-hmm. or the Latino oh. community? But for some weird reason, they were they were fixing, they were putting chemicals inside the chicken to get the people to become a lot more submissive and this and that. And it's all about, you know, and I noticed that one thing about this movie, and it happens in a lot of communities. You had Mark, you had people that advertise to certain communities based off of certain stereotypes and certain types of certain types of ways they can get them to buy more products. And this was it. This was, I mean. They realized the characters realized as they were going to do the movie that this is set up. You know, this is how society is is keeping us in our place mm-hmm. by using these little these little uh, mechanisms. What, do you so think? They, do you think that they were they were kind of challenging the uh, the atypical black exploitation films going back from to the seventies with this movie? I think they were definitely. They wanted to hit some notes, man, and they definitely hit the notes. 
because man hey, let's be real man a lot of these a lot of back at that time i i actually love the black exploitation movies you know i love them some people might say man those things i don't like them i love them for the simple fact it was fantasy man it was fantasy i know it was not real but it was fantasy it took it took the typical brother tyrone out of my neighborhood and made him into a superhero mm. that's what it did okay and that's what this did they took these these guys you had jamie fox who played the pimp yep. you had vega who played the the, the, the drug, drug dealer. dealer the drug driller slash he became the hero a leading yeah. hero in this mm -hmm. also you had who alan david alan Greer, who he was the preacher he was he was a, he preacher. Was a preacher and everything you had these single people in these in these na in this neighborhood. They became superheroes overnight. They saved their community from all this craziness. Mm -hmm. So you know, then you had Jessica Fontaine, who was, who was another prostitute in the movie, and mm -hmm. Tiana Paris. They they were the you know. You had these typical ordinary people that that lived in this low income neighborhood. Mm -hmm. They became the superheroes in the neighborhood. They went out there. They organized and they bought this gigantic quote unquote conspiracy group down by their actions okay well then I'll, I'll ask you this Mr. Cortez so for the Netflix movie they clone Tyrone how many stars do you give it I will give it probably four and a half okay Reason I will give it five but four and a half because again it was it was a dry beginning it was a dry beginning mm -hmm. uh some of it could have got cut down some of it could have got chopped in the editing room you know but it was overall it was good if you really are into black sci-fi that's i'm gonna call it black sci-fi okay. that's what okay. it is that, that's what it most of the movies i'm seeing coming out now are starting to become more black sci-fi uh uh nope oh shit <laughs> that movie mm. that movie nope i'm just noticing that a lot of directors are going to they're doing black films but they got a sci-fi twist to them it seems like that's the market now